Hey guys, welcome back to the videos. In this one in particular, we'll be running through a Prog House base patch and show some use case examples and some ways in which you can make it unique and your own. Okay, without further ado, let's get into the video. So let's open up none other than Ableton's wavetable to make this patch. As you can see, I have the MIDI playing for the Tapestry soundtrack, Short Skirt, Straight Jacket. So first, let's enable our sub oscillator, increase the tone to 100% to introduce some more harmonics to our sub sign. Next, let's bring our overall pitch down 12 semitones. Now for wave 1, let's set the position to 90%, just shy of a full square wave, and bring it down 12 semitones. For wave 2, let's set the position to 77. Now let's turn our attention to the filter, bring it down to 460Hz, and the resonance up to 70%. With the mode set to MS, drive up to 10 decibels and the slope at 24. Now for our amp envelope, set the decay to 400 milliseconds, sustain to minus 16 dB, and the release to 200 milliseconds, with the shape adjusted as so. Now let's set up another envelope to control our filter. Bring the sustain and release up to full, setting the curve as so. Finally, bring the attack back to 682 milliseconds, so it slopes up gradually. Instead of using this to bring the filter up, we're actually going to do the opposite to achieve the sound we're after. So let's set the filter position value on the matrix of envelope 2 to minus 20. Now for some effects. Let's apply the hot tube saturator preset, then a pedal effect, bringing the bass up 30% and enabling the sub. To counter its increase in volume, let's bring the gain down 6 dB so we can hear just the effect it's having on the sound, not the volume. Let's cut the super lows and roll off some of the high end with the EQ8. Finally applying the bass mono utility preset. From this we can get the bass off the track Phantom Lady by Osvanja pretty quickly by using the same principles. This time, set both waves to square waves at 100% and enable the classic mode on wave 2. And next, increase the pulse width to 12 to add some extra harmonics to the high pitched wave. For this bass sound, we don't need any resonance, so let's bring that down to zero and bring our filter up to 1.38 kHz. Now for our amp envelope, let's make a pluck by bringing the sustain to zero, decay to 1.16 seconds and release to 100 milliseconds. And for envelope 2, let's bring the attack to 500 milliseconds with this curve to it and decay to 600 milliseconds. Bringing the percentage down even further to minus 23 on the matrix. Now these are just the basic building blocks of these sounds. You can go one step further by introducing some modulation. For example, on the pulse width modulation and sync of wave 2. As you can hear, the sonic quality is altered quite dramatically by these values. So let's set up a slow LFO, let's say at a rate of 2, with rechig disabled and apply it to our pulse width modulation and then our sync. Finally, if we filter more of the high end and change the MIDI, we get something akin to the bass line of Byron Yates' Cauldron of Chaos. And there you go, three awesome bass lines made pretty quickly and pretty easily inside of Wavetable. So that's the video, I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from that, and maybe can take some of these basses away to use in your own projects. As I always say, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, as it really helps the channel out and I push to now 7,000 subscribers. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. Uh-huh.